60k heat? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I have a, I guess, out of the ordinary build video. Uh, I was streaming earlier today, and the new Sevagoth augment is insanely good. Uh, I think it makes him uh, a very good frame to play. He has a very unique setup with a very unique weapon that you actually see me holding here. And that's what this build video is going to be about. Uh, and kind of, you know, theorize what other weapons this could be really, really good with. So with that out of the way, let's go over the build and what this video is mainly going to be focusing on. So during the Echoes of Duviri update, DE released a couple new augments uh, with the update, one of them being for Sevagoth's 1. So it reads, increase critical chance by 50%. That is a additive flat rate to enemies inflicted with Death's Harvest, which is the debuff that his 1 uh, adds to it. When you kill an enemy, a shadow emerges, debuffing other enemies around them without you having to recast it. The limit is three. So you can have one out that you cast and three more that come out of the dead enemy. Or one enemy and then if you kill multiple enemies you can have up to three. This augment is absolutely insane. I went ahead and subsumed off his four because you're going to be utilizing the reap uh, ability. Mainly because that's what this build is going to be going over. Now it is a little bit of expensive. Uh, it is six forma, but and that is even with a umbral forma installed. Uh, I have two umbral mods, but basically I'm combining this augment with the phantasma. It is a very very unique weapon that has basically no crit chance, and you wouldn't build it for anything other than just flat spammy status damage. But because of this augment. And if you pair it with the Arcane Arcane Avenger, you can actually hit uh, orange crit numbers regularly with the Phantasma. And I'll show you right here. Alright, see ya. What do you think, Phil? Big difference? I feel like the damage numbers are pretty much the same. Is it? I don't really, I can't really tell. 60k heat? Are you serious? Are you actually serious? 60k heat proc. So, as you saw, it is pretty insane that you can get orange crit numbers with the Phantasma with just a single augment mod and an arcane. Now, the Arcane is technically not mandatory, but when you have the Arcane and the Augment, you have almost a, you basically have a 100% crit chance with the Phantasma. It sets at 98, okay? When you pair it with Eclipse and the fact that you have so much status out of a beam weapon, all the different status types, as well as the Eclipse, Eclipse damage buff, as you saw, a 60,000 orange crit heat proc off of the Phantasma with no Riven. Now, I have a Riven build, and I will showcase that, but all that damage you saw in the clip was with no Riven. If you pair that with Combat Discipline as well as Gloom, you are taking no damage and reaping, pun intended, all of the rewards because you are healing your allies not only with just combat discipline but you're healing yourself too because of gloom so you take no damage basically at all and because the phantasma is a beam weapon 
you know, you're proccing uh, combat discipline so fast and gloom so fast because you are taking uh, no damage uh, because of gloom. It's, it's just insane. Like, I, I'm having trouble getting the words out, but this setup is so unique, and I think everybody should try this. One thing I forgot to mention while I was editing this video is that Shadow Haze crit chance bonus actually scales with power strength. So here I've got a couple power strength mods at around roughly 300% crit chance. I reach a rough 150% increase to critical chance, which in my opinion is pretty insane because with this augment and a build of your choice, you could theoretically reach red crit numbers with almost any weapon without a ribbon. I think that is a fantastic idea that DE made. A lot of people want to see red crits, but most weapons that is impossible to attain without a ribbon. But because of this augment mod from the Paragon sequence, you can reach red crit numbers with the right build. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video. Uh, Sevagoth is just one of those frames you never see anybody play. He's got couple issues mainly revolving around his acquisition he is very hard to acquire um, in railjack not a lot of people like that and if you're a new player and you have a very bad railjack it makes for a very bad time trying to get him not to mention he has a lot of forma cost investment involving certain builds and you know all of his exalted weapons now in this video, I showcase the Phantasma just to show a very, very low crit weapon and what it can do with a augment mod such as this and the power and, you know, combination that these two things can have together in unison and, you know, showcase exactly how much damage that can really look like. Obviously, whatever weapon you choose is going to be great, but I think the Phantasma with this build is very interesting considering that it kind of works with everything the combat discipline the eclipse the augment mod gloom all of those things work really well with a beam weapon that offers a high damage output thanks to its high status chance the way you build the phantasma i really really enjoy using this weapon with sevagoth now and if you utilize this build i think you will too Leave a comment down below if you've tried this augment, what you think about it, or what you thought about the video. Until next time, peace out.